Hi dear students, my, in my this video I am just solving the question number 7 and in question number 7 the statement is also on your screen and the statement is that we have to find the f of uh, we are given us some function and we have to values on given inputs input values so uh, f of we have to uh, find the f of 0 f of 2 f of minus 2 and up to so on and our function is given which is uh, a part uh, f of x is given which is 3x square minus 2 so we just uh, have to find the uh, this is our function and we have to find f of 0 so it means that uh, the mean of f of 0 is just we have to replace x by 0 in our function and find what uh, the output becomes uh, 0 square minus 2 this is a very simple question so uh, square of 0 is also 0 is equals to 3 whenever the term multiply by 0 it becomes always becomes 0 so 0 minus 2 that is equals to minus 2 so for f of 0 um, our function becomes a uh, give our output minus 2 so whenever I solve uh, this uh, function for f of 2 so we just have to replace our x in our function by 2 so 3 here minus uh, sorry 2 square minus 2 so it becomes uh, the square of 2 is equals to 4 and 4 threes are 12 12 minus 2 it becomes 10 so uh, that is our the function the value of this function at 2 is 10 we say that uh, the value of this function at point 2 becomes 10 so similarly when uh, the b part uh, of this uh, function is f of x which is uh, piecewise function so that is 1 over x for x is greater than equals to 3 that is 2x when our x is less than equals to 3 so we have to uh, put the values uh, such that uh, whenever we put the values greater than 3 uh, then we take the function f of x is equals to 1 over x and whenever the input value is equals to 3 or less than 3 then we have to take this function so let's suppose if we have f of 0 we have to find f of 0 then 0 is uh, less than to 3 so that's why we take f of x is equals to 2 because uh, this function is defined for the values that is x less than 3 so we have to find f of 0 so then we take the function f of x is equals to 2x so we can say that for uh, x is less than 3 f of x is equals to 2x so we take f of x is equal to 2x and now we can find f of 0 in a similar way uh, we already discussed in above uh, question above part so it becomes also 0 so let's suppose whenever we have to find f of uh, uh, 3 so uh, for all 3 uh, is also we take this function because that is equals to 3 x is less than equals to 3 so we uh, take the same function we have to find f of 3 so uh, our f of x is should be uh, 2x and f of 3 is equals to 2 3 is r6 so the remaining part you can also solve in your homework as a homework and it's very simple and uh, whenever we take the value greater than 3 let's suppose we take the value uh, from here this is not such a value you know given in your question but we take whenever the value is let's suppose we have to find the f of 4 so this value is greater than 3 so we take this function we have to take the f of x now our f of x is 1 over x because for the values uh, greater than to 3 we have to take the value uh, function f of x is equals to 1 over x so for this f of 4 1 over 4 at all. so that is our answer we can divide it it becomes 0 0.25 so 
so that is a uh, question number seven in a similar way we can solve the question number eight uh, so the statement of question number eight is similar like uh, question number seven and uh, just uh, the difference is the function so the uh, question number eight I just solve one thing uh, more in this part uh, question number solve we have to find the g of x which is given uh, g of x is given such as x plus 1 and x minus 1 so find question number 8 part number 1 and we take uh, the g of the input value is t square minus 1 so Whenever the we have we, our function is given g of x is equals to x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 and we have to find uh, g of t square minus 1. So we have to replace x by our input value t square minus 1. t square minus 1 is equals to uh, here we just put in the place of x t square minus 1 and plus 1 that is plus plus 1 and also in a denominator we have to replace our x by t square minus 1 and minus 1 so uh, when we open this bracket so minus 1 plus 1 t square minus 1 minus 1 the cancel out plus 1 and minus 1 uh, so there is just t square divided by t square minus 2 so that is our output that is our the value at the point t square minus 1 uh, so this is a very simple question uh, the, the, uh, the uh, question number 8 the part number a so uh, for question number 9 to uh, 10 you have to uh, see my next video so dear students if this video is informative for you then please subscribe my channel and press the icon button and like my videos share my videos with your friends with your class fellows thank you for watching